In this video, you will learn to predict the direction of an acid-base equilibrium. We build on concepts that we've seen in single molecule and multiple molecule cases, so please review those before proceeding. When analyzing an acid-base equilibrium, we focus on the most acidic proton and the most basic atom in each molecule. I'll redraw metoprolol with the most acidic proton in red, which we determined in an earlier video. I'll also redraw butyl lithium in its ionic form, separating the metal and nonmetal to help us picture the mechanism. Next, we draw the acid base mechanism. Draw the products and label the acid, the base, the conjugate acid, and the conjugate base. Now we can compare the species. To determine the direction of the equilibrium using method 1, we compare the acid with the conjugate acid. The acid's pKa value is approximately 16. The conjugate acid's pKa value is approximately 51. The conjugate acid, with its higher pKa value, is weaker, or more stable, than the acid. The equilibrium lies to the side with the more stable species. For this example, the equilibrium lies to the product side the side with the conjugate acid. Alternatively, we could use method 2 to determine the equilibrium's direction. We start out with the same preparation phase of drawing out the species, identifying the most acidic protons in the acids and the most basic atoms in the bases. Now we'll compare the relative stability of the charged species, in this case the base and the conjugate base. The charge resides on a carbon atom in the base and on an oxygen atom in the conjugate base. Given the two bases, which factor should be applied? Because these two atoms are in the same row of the periodic table, electronegativity differences dominate. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, meaning the oxygen can better stabilize the negative charge. This makes the oxygen atom a weaker base than the carbon atom. Because the conjugate base is weaker than the base, the acid-base equilibrium favors the products. In summary, you learn to predict the direction of an acid-base equilibrium using method 1 and method 2. In method 1, you compared the pKa values of the acid with the conjugate acid, and in method 2, you compared the relative stability of the bases. No matter which method you use, the conclusion should be the same. The equilibrium favors the side with the weaker or more stable species. If we find a difference in our conclusions, it means we've made an error in our analysis.